Okay, so we're back and we actually have the BioCube out of the box. We have the stand fully completed and we're starting to take some of the next steps to get this baby set up. So, first thing I want to mention is that I think the stand is pretty good quality. I didn't have any issues with any damage in, during shipping. Some of the white stuff you see are just those uh, foam, there was foam packed in so I'll have to wipe it down. But the stand was pretty nice. It went together really easily. My, my only complaint about it is there were some parts you had to glue. You had to glue the, the backing on here. You had to glue this backing on down the sides and across the top. But um, other than that, the, the stand was fairly easy to put together. It didn't take very long. And it's definitely sturdy, which is what really matters because, you know, with uh, almost 30 gallons of water plus sand and live rock, or just rock in general, uh, it's going to weigh a lot once it's all said and done. So, I decided on putting the mile cube in a spot right next to my dishwasher. Um, you might be saying, oh, but you want to avoid drafts and things like that. Well, I don't usually open that door all that often, I wouldn't say. Sometimes in the summer I do, uh, but it's never really cold or anything like that. So I considered putting it down in the living room. I actually was going to put it in the living room, but I decided against it because the sun comes in the front window and you're not supposed to have sun in a tank either. So it's gonna go right there. But for right now, I have no electrical outlet behind it. I have an outlet back there behind my other smaller tank that I'm gonna get rid of. Um, so I might have to get an outlet uh, put in the wall behind the tank itself. So anyway, we'll proceed with a quick tour here. The tank itself looks great. It's bigger than I expected. The chambers in the back, I've already emptied them. This is where the pump was. The pump's going to go back in. I did not get a special pump. This is chamber number two. And as you can see, I'm going to have to take a vacuum, vacuum to it because a bunch of the bio balls, pieces of them broke off and they're in the bottom of that chamber. And then the first chamber here has a few other remnants of bio balls. And as you can see, there are a massive ton of these things. I thought they were, I actually thought each piece was bigger and there'd be fewer of them, but they're not, they're smaller and there's a ton of them. So that's where we're at with that. I took took these things out, great filter grate, this, this thing, I don't know what it is. This guy, which holds the pump on the bottom. Um, and this is the filter we're not going to use. That's what we got our Purigen and our, our, uh, our bag for. So if we come around here, here is the heater that fits nicely and the, the pump that comes with it. And where did I put the, did I put that? I must have put that somewhere. Let me look here. Where did I put the, oh, here it is. It's right here. So this guy fits in perfectly. So I'll just show you what it looks like and put it in here. Uh-oh, don't want to drop it. There we go. Fits in nicely. As you can see in the back here, goes right where it's supposed to. And the nice thing about buying the Coral Life BioCube is you'll hear a lot of people on the internet saying, oh, you need to cut a piece of the wall out so water flows better. And you need to take the false floor out. There are no false floors in this model. You can see all the way to the glass in each of the chambers. So there's no false floors to remove. And actually, this piece is already cut all the way across, which I was surprised about. I didn't think it would be cut all the way across. So that's very nice. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to modify that at all. So um, I mentioned the this guy, my egg crate. And I've actually already cut the egg crate um, to, spec, to specs. It's about 16 by 19 in the bottom of the tank on the inside. And as you can see, I, I cut notches out of the sides here because the tank is slightly rounded on the front corner. So I'm going to put this in and show you guys what it looks like. It's not, the, it's, not, it's not the easiest thing to go in because it actually fits just perfectly. There we go. As you can see, it's right up to the glass on both sides, right up to the glass. There's a little space here, which is okay. And then it's right up to the sides, it's right up to the back. It came out really well. Um, I will say, I, I basically 
was very careful with it. I cut it too big first. And then I just cut a row at a time, a row at a time uh, on the width and a row at a time on the uh, depth, I guess you'd call it, uh, just to make sure that I didn't overcut it and waste a piece and it'd be in there sliding around and it wouldn't be stable because you want it to be stable. You don't want it to have a lot of give from right to left or front to back. So it's looking pretty good. And let's see, up next what I'll probably do is I'll probably vacuum out the chambers, uh, run some water through it. I already tried the lights, they look great. They're very bright. I'm eventually probably going to replace the lights, but that's a costly upgrade, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold off on that for now. And just to give you an idea how big the inside of this stand is, there's my five gallon bucket. It fits right in the stand. I don't know if I'll store it there for sure, but uh, it fits in there if you'd like it to. And there's a, a plenty of room on the top shelf for other stuff. So, and these are like magnetized. They, you know, they magnet close, so that's good. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Um, not sure what chamber I'm gonna put the heater in yet, one or three. I took all bio balls out. Uh, that's, that's pretty much it. So my reef rock from Reef Cleaners is arriving tomorrow. I'll start messing with the aquascape maybe, maybe tomorrow or maybe like later on in the weekend because I do have a, a busy weekend. But uh, all in all, the tank looks awesome. I'm really pumped about it. And you know, so far my my research and my plans have worked out really well. Everything fits. Everything um, goes where it's supposed to, and life is good. So. I will continue next, probably with um, a look at how I ended up setting up the tank with the media basket in, the bag of Puragen in, um, the heater where it's going to go, the pump in, and until then, all right, yeah, we'll talk to you guys later. This is the fish guy, and I'm out.